Hi, welcome back to Singing Nomad. I'm Carla, and I'd like to take you with me to Colorado Springs today for my very first truck camping experience. We'll explore Manitou Springs, Iron Springs Dinner Theater, Miramont Castle, Garden of the Gods, and Queen's Parlor High Tea. I arrived at Golden Eagle Campground well before dark. It's just south of Colorado Springs. It's a family-owned ranch. The campground is about as old as I am. They started in 1961. Very family atmosphere. I felt safe. The staff was very helpful. And they offer about 200 campsites for RVs, tents, campers with full hookup. The shower house was right beside me across the road and I could just walk conveniently. They had electrical outlets and it was super clean. So I was pretty comfortable my first time out which I think is a good idea if you're transitioning into this kind of life or trips where you are vehicle camping. It's good to be a little comfortable maybe on your first trip out just to sort of get adjusted and get a feel for it. They have two fishing ponds stocked with trout and all you need is a $7 a day permit. You don't have to have an expensive state license. They're pet friendly and they have a playground. They offer 12 miles of hiking trails, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. They have an on-site gift shop where you can buy bags of ice. And adjacent to the gift shop is a very interesting museum of tropical insects for the kids. The most scenic place that I visited was Garden of the Gods. You drive through it and it is like being on another planet. It's just gorgeous. I personally have never seen rock formations like that in that color, even though I've been to Sedona several times. It, it really was a beautiful place, and there's a special rock that you get out and take your picture. People were in line to take their picture there, so that was a, a really fun afternoon. <laughs> One of the most fun and high energy activities I did was to attend the Iron Springs Dinner Theater. First of all, I'd go just for the dinner. The dinner is first and then you move to the auditorium where they have the show. I'm telling you, I've never tasted that, that kind of food in my life. It was amazing. I even asked for a second helping. <laughs> Well, then we went to the auditorium where the stage was, and it was a melodrama where you can, you're encouraged to boo the villain and clap and holler and scream and yay for the hero. It was just silly and a lot of fun right up my alley with my theater background. And I would just highly recommend it just for the food, but the show is fun as well. in the former sunroom is Queen's Parlor High Tea, where they make you feel like a queen. It's beautiful service. 
There's no dress code, but I dressed up and other people dressed up just to take pictures because they have these beautiful fancy hats. And I was trying to be all proper, you know, sipping my tea, delicious teas. They have umpteen teas that you can choose from. And just the little tiny miniature food was so cute. And they kept bringing it course after course. And it fills you up. You wouldn't think little appetizers, but it was fun. I highly recommend high tea at Queen's Parlor. Castle, 30 rooms, four floors. It's an 1895 chateau. It was really beautiful, historic Victorian, which I love, and I enjoyed myself. It's a self guided tour, and I have to say I enjoyed it more when I joined a family because I was terrified. It was some creepy stuff, but I'd go back because it was really cool, but I just wouldn't go back. I had one scare. My first time out, I'm a little nervous. What if, what if, what if? I was trying to be brave. Well, about the third night that I was there, I was awakened in the middle of the night by a thump, 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 and they had warned us of bears, and I thought, oh no, a bear is in the bed of my truck, or worse than that, a boogeyman, I don't know which is worse. So I sat up in bed, and I reached over to my canvas shelves, and I got my self-defense items, and I was ready to roll. I couldn't even breathe. I couldn't move. I was that scared. I don't know if I've ever been that scared in my whole life. But I noticed a pattern to the noises. And after about five minutes, I said, wait a minute. I know what that is. It was my heat shield blanket car cover thing that I had bought to put over the windows on one side of my truck when the sun would shine on that side. I had moved it and failed to buckle it down and the buckles were hitting my truck. And if you could have seen how scared I was and then how foolish I felt after, so glad it wasn't a bear or a boogeyman. All these places that I visited were in or around Manitou Springs, a quaint little town. I believe they have mineral springs. This is all at the base of Pikes Peak. So everything you do, you're just surrounded by the most gorgeous mountains. So Colorado Springs and all the things that I did was a great success. And it gave me confidence to go and do this more often. It was a wonderful experience. And if you're looking for a family vacation spot with plenty to do and plenty of nature, gorgeous mountains, really clean air, I would suggest that you try out Colorado Springs. Thanks for going with me today. I'm glad you joined me. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.